I've really enjoyed my kickboxing career. It's been a long journey, so it's uh, it's mad that it's my last fight. So, but I'm excited for it. I'm excited as I've been for all my other fights. Last one, so got to see up the other one. Just finish off strong. I think I was about eight year old when I came at gym. I think about ten when I had my first ever fight. So it's been many many years. It's been a long time coming, but it's just it's meant so much to me. Like it's changed my life. All these fights. I don't think I'd be wherever I am today without kickboxing. So I've got Northern Area titles, English titles, British titles, and then European titles and all the way up to world level and then got unified all world titles. So I've had a good career and I'm happy with what I've done in my career. So but I'm ready to move on now. And, but I'll never forget kickboxing. I'll never forget where I came from. So I'm happy with my kickboxing career and it's done a lot for me. So yeah. Well, I won't want it. I won't want my last fight anywhere else. I won't want it on a any other show than Kings of Combat, so it's like it's a per everything's perfect and fell into place exactly how I wanted it to. And then obviously it's last one, biggest one probably. So it just means so much to me that it's on an home show in front of my own crowd for my last one. So I'll be defending my ISKA world title, uh, which is a big title in itself, big name ISKA. So that's a big fight in itself. And then Kings of Combat world title, which also another big name, so the show and our big show is. Uh, so Kings of Combat world title and ISK world title mean that I've basically just sealed all world titles. I've got every world title uh, organization, ICO, IF, IKF, uh, ISKA. So I've got all of them and then Kings of Combat on top of that is just a like, sealed deal again. So the fact that it's going boxing is like, it's like starting a new journey. So it's like starting all over again, which is exciting for me because I meet new people I'll meet. I'll just, it's like exciting because I don't know what's to come, but I'm excited for what's to come. So, yeah, I can't wait to get started. He's fought one of my teammates. He's fought uh, Owen Deakin. So we've seen a little bit. I've seen a little, little bit what he's capable of. But I'm not. I'm not too worried. But I'm not. Like I wouldn't put him down. I wouldn't underestimate him. But I'm ready for what he's about to bring. So I've, se I've noticed that he likes to come forward a lot. He's very, very aggressive fighter. So he likes to come forward. But that's going to be a big mistake because I can pick him off from I know I can big people coming forward so yeah I'd like to say I'm a very explosive fighter so I like to like intercept like shooting fast and so I'm very good I'm very quick with my hands but I've also got good legs as well because it's my last one I'm going to put on a showcase as well for the public I don't want to just go in there all guns blazing I want to put like a, a clinic on I want to take him to school and show him how it's really done I don't usually like to make predictions but if everything goes to plan I don't see him standing in all five rounds